pituitary gland or the master gland of the body is a tiny little gland around 5 millimeters in size sitting at the base of the skull attached to the brain by a small twig of neural tissue. But the same gland can wreak havoc if a tumor grows there. Pituitary tumors are one of the most common primary brain tumors and amongst the pituitary tumors prolactinoma is the most common subtype. Prolactinoma as the name suggests is the tumor which arises from prolactin cells or prolactin producing cells of the pituitary gland. Now what are prolactin producing cells? Prolactin, lactin means to secrete milk. So these are cells which help or which stimulate the production of milk in the human body. The interesting thing about prolactinoma is it defies the typical characteristics of a brain tumor in many ways. When we talk about the presentation of a brain tumor, we would normally talk about headaches, vomiting, weakness in the limbs. But when it comes to prolactinoma, the symptoms are very different from that. Patients would have normally symptoms of amenorrhea if it's a female. She would have, yes, abnormal menstrual cycle. She would have complaints of infertility. Similarly, in the male patients also, it would be loss of libido and other hormonal problems. Plus, since prolactinoma, as I've already told you, is responsible for the secretion of milk, suddenly these patients would start seeing whitish secretion coming out from their breasts for no obvious reasons. But yes, as it grows in size, at some point, it would start behaving like a typical brain tumor and start causing symptoms because of the mass effect or because of the space that it occupies inside the skull. But one very typical of a pituitary adenoma in terms of mass effect would be bitemporal hemianopia. That means visual loss on the side, on the both the sides of the visual field. That's a very typical mass effect or because of the size of the tumor, symptoms arising in a patient. So we've looked at the symptoms and found that yes, it is very different from that of a typical brain tumor. Now, if you look at the diagnosis also, most of the brain tumors are picked up on an MRI scan. That is the first thing that comes to our mind. But prolactinomas are usually picked up on a blood test where we do the hormonal assay where the prolactin levels are measured and suddenly you find it to be on the higher side. So that would be usually the first test that is done and from there we go back and get our MRI done and look at the size of the uh, pituitary gland or the tumor. Now, when we look at the treatment of prolactinomas, even that is pretty different from that of a typical brain tumor. A typical brain tumor at some point does require a neurosurgical intervention. But prolactinomas, the first and in most cases, the only line of treatment could be medications. Medications, when correctly applied, can lead to normalization of the hormone levels. And it also brings about shrinkage of the tumor mass and at times the tumor almost disappears. So that's it in short about prolactinoma, a tumor which is rather unique in its presentation, kind of different in the way we pick it up clinically and as far as surgery goes, it seldom requires surgical intervention. Thank you so much.